Hello everyone, this is Dr. Sam and this video is about chest x-ray heart normal versus abnormal image appearances. We will compare the normal appearance of the heart on an x-ray with different heart pathologies. Our first case is right atrial enlargement. The right atrium forms the right heart border. In a posterior anterior view, this is the margin of the right atrium. In normal cases, the margin of the right atrium should be less than 5.5 cm from the midline. But in cases of right atrial enlargement, there is lateral outward bulging of the right heart border. And this bulging is convex in shape. And the margin of the right atrium in this case will be more than 5.5 centimeters from the midline in cases of significant right atrial enlargement. Causes of right atrial enlargement include tricuspid stenosis, right atrial tumor, tricuspid regurgitation right ventricular enlargement, pulmonary hypertension, and cardiomyopathies. Now we have a case of right ventricular enlargement. In normal cases, the cardiothoracic ratio is less than 0.5. In cases of significant right ventricular enlargement, the cardiothoracic ratio will be greater than 0.5. Another feature is that the apex will be elevated whereas in the normal image the apex seems to be resting over the diaphragm and it is not elevated. This elevation of apex can be a sign of right ventricular enlargement. Causes of right ventricular enlargement include pulmonary hypertension, left-sided heart failure, congenital heart disease, pulmonary stenosis, and myocardial infarction. Another feature that is seen in a lateral view is retrosternal space fullness. The space behind the sternum appears to be filled in or obliterated due to the enlarged right ventricle pushing forward. This region is bright or opacified due to the enlarged ventricle, whereas in the normal image we see a darker area here. This space is not occupied by the heart. This feature is seen in lateral view. Now we have a case of left atrial enlargement. One of its features on x-ray is double density sign. Due to the enlargement of the left atrium, an additional shadow is found behind the right heart border. This is due to the enlarged left atrium projecting over the spine and appearing as a second density beside the right atrial shadow. This type of appearance is the double density sign and is seen in left atrial enlargement. Another feature that may be seen in significant left atrial enlargement is the splaying of the carina. The carina is the junction where the trachea bifurcates into right and left main bronchi. You can see that it is widened. Normally it looks like this. The angle should not be more than 90 degrees. The enlarged left atrium pushes the left main bronchus upwards and this leads to splaying of the carina. Another feature is an oblique measurement that is taken from the midpoint of the left main bronchus to the midpoint of the double density sign 
at this point. This measurement will be greater than 7 cm in cases of significant left atrial enlargement. The third mogul sign refers to a convex shaped bulge due to dilated left atrial appendage which may be seen in the setting of left atrial enlargement. The term mogul refers to this convex bulge that is seen on x-ray. This is called the third mogul because the first mogul is the aortic knob. The second mogul is the main pulmonary artery, this small bulging area here. And the third mogul is not present in normal cases, but in cases of left atrial enlargement, we will see this convex bulge. This is the third mogul sign. Causes of left atrial enlargement include mitral stenosis, mitral regurgitation, aortic stenosis, aortic regurgitation, hypertension, cardiomyopathy, heart failure, and myocardial infarction. Now we move on to left ventricular enlargement. Its features include schmoo sign which refers to rounded left ventricle and dilated aorta. The word shmu is a comic book character which has a similar shape as seen on this x-ray. There is rounding of the apex. You can compare the rounded apex with the one in the normal image. The aorta is also dilated and there will be leftward and downward displacement of the left heart border. You can see this area is very much to the left whereas in the normal image the apex is not rounded and is not displaced towards the left or downwards. Its causes include mitral stenosis, mitral regurgitation, aortic stenosis, aortic regurgitation, hypertension, cardiomyopathy, heart failure, and myocardial infarction. In pericardial effusion, there is an abnormal accumulation of fluid within the pericardial cavity. This can be detected on a chest x-ray. The normal cardiac borders are sharp and distinct because the heart is immediately adjacent to the air-filled lungs and we can see its borders very clearly. But in cases of significant pericardial effusion, an enlarged globular heart is seen. It has a water bottle shaped cardiac silhouette. This is due to fluid accumulation within the pericardial cavity, which makes the outline of the heart more rounded, especially at the lower part of the heart. This type of appearance is known as the water bottle sign. Due to fluid accumulation, we see a uniform opacity, uniform brightness within the heart and we do not really see the normal heart-lung interface which we can see over here. We can see the heart and the lung as well as the ribs through the heart. This type of appearance is normal but over here we have a very bright heart, a very uniform opacity throughout the heart this is seen in cases of pericardial effusion, in moderate to severe pericardial effusion. Pericardial calcification can be seen on an x-ray. The calcifications are usually associated with pericarditis. On an x-ray, 
curvilinear high density calcifications are seen. These radio opaque or bright areas are the calcifications. They are usually found at the diaphragmatic surface of the heart or the atrioventricular grooves. These calcifications are seen much better in a lateral view. They are seen in a greater extent in this lateral view. These are the calcifications within the pericardium. Mitral annular calcification can also be seen on a chest x-ray. They usually appear as a J or C shaped calcification at the expected location of the mitral valve which is at this point. The calcification will appear bright or radio-opaque. Nemopericardium refers to the presence of air in the pericardium. On x-ray it will appear as a radiolucent or dark area surrounding the heart and this dark area will be surrounded by a thin bright or radio opaque line this is the pericardium and the dark area is the air this is a feature of nemopericardium here is another case of nemopericardium in this type of nemopericardium a continuous diaphragm sign is seen this happens when there is air present within the pericardium that is above the diaphragm and below the heart. So this radiolucent area, this dark area is seen above the diaphragm and below the heart. Normally the diaphragm is not clearly seen below the heart but over here it looks like a continuous diaphragm due to the presence of air within the pericardium. Aortic aneurysm refers to the abnormal dilatation of the aorta. It can be detected on an x-ray. In this case, there is abnormal dilatation of the aortic arch and a thoracic aorta. Another feature which will usually be seen in such cases is the widened mediastinum. There is increased width of the mediastinum. In severe cases, the trachea may be deviated to the right side due to the enlarged aorta. This is how the normal trachea should be present. But in this image, we can see it is displaced to the right side. Here is another image of aortic aneurysm. This is ascending aortic aneurysm with similar features and associated cardiomegaly. The left ventricle of the heart seems to be enlarged along with abnormal dilation of the aorta. X-ray is not very good in determining the extent of the aortic aneurysm. Further examination is required, such as CT angiography. Aortic dissection has somewhat similar features to an aneurysm. Mediastinal widening will be seen, but many mediastinal masses mimic an aortic aneurysm, so it is a non specific feature. The orthopulmonary window is a concave shaped or straight area between the aortic knob and the pulmonary artery. In normal cases, this area will be concave or straight, but in cases of aortic aneurysm dissection, this area will be opacified, it will be bright due to the presence of hematoma in the mediastinal pleura overlying the aorta. 
Tetralogy of Fallow is a congenital heart defect which consists of ventricular septal defect, right ventricular hypertrophy, overriding aorta, and right ventricular outflow tract obstruction. On x-ray, a boot-shaped heart can be seen in such patients. This is an AP view of the chest in a child. Both these images are in AP views. We can see a boot-shaped heart due to right ventricular hypertrophy, but this feature is not seen in all cases of tetralogy of fallow. Dextrocardia is a rare condition in which the heart is present in the right side of the chest it can be easily seen on an x-ray if proper and correct image processing is done. The apex of the heart is towards the right side. So we can see that the heart is present in the right side of the chest in this image. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and stay tuned for more imaging videos.